Well, today marks the 200th consecutive game where the Wolverines have drawn more than 100,000 fans. The weather at kickoff today is much better than last week's homecoming game against Northwestern. They had rain and stiff winds. Not today. It's cold, but dry. There's a look at Lloyd Carr for 26 years. He's been a coach at Michigan. The last 12 is head coach. He got a title back in 97. He's hoping this is the year for number two. A win today gives him his sixth 10-win season since taking the program over. And his counterpart today, a, a man he knows very well, Brady Hoke. A 1982 grant of Ball State before coming back to his alma mater in 2002. He coached under Lloyd Carr in Michigan as the D-line coach for eight years. These guys have a lot of respect for each other, Mike. Well, certainly, and Lloyd Carr's been the reason for that. He's put a lot of coaches into uh, collegiate football head coaching, and Brady Hoke is no exception. Being back at your alma mater, it's a wonderful, wonderful tradition, and I wish him well. Brian Thompson, the tight end, goes in motion. First play of the game, here's Michigan. It's Mike Hart, and a big run on first down. He's got over 1,100 yards rushing this season and nine touchdowns. He's going to have a big day today, I'm sure. Riley and Beal, both fifth-year seniors, of course, playing their last home games today. They go right back to Hart, and he's going to pick up four yards here on first down. On their first series of the day, Henny turns and hands off to Hart. Trying to go for left tackle. Another decent pickup. It looks like he's short of the first down. So far, Hart, three carries, 20 yards. He's off to a good start. He's the lone setback. They're going to pass. Come out to the near side. It's Adrian Arrington. Makes a nice move. He's out across midfield. It's a first down. Three receivers set backed up to the 49 now. Second down and 11. Off his back foot, and he gets it away to Hart. Hart behind a screen, not a lot of operating room. Chad Henney making his 34th straight start today, under center. Now checking at the line. Henney 25 and 8 as a starter here in Ann Arbor. Throws out to the near sideline, has a receiver, and it's Adrian Arrington. That's uh, easily a first down, and then so. Nice job by Chad Henney. He sees, he looks at the underneath coverage on the left hand side of your screen, number 8. Terry Bice does a nice job floating in coverage, but it's a great throw, great route by Arrington. He gets deep, vertical into the route, catches the ball at the highest point. Nice first down conversion. Clay, great news for Michigan fans this week. Mario Manningham returned to practice. Remember, he had surgery on his knee on a partially torn meniscus cartilage on October 10th. He's missed the last three games. He's in uniform. I watched him warm up today, and I'd have to say he looked about 80 to 85 percent. His north-south speed was there, but some of his cuts looked like they were a little gingerly. Uh, the coaching staff said he will be used in a limited fashion today, a very sparing way. Quinn, thank you very much, and here is a Michigan touchdown. Jerome Jackson. After review, there is indisputable video evidence that the runner was down at the one-yard line. First down and goal. Now they got it right. And my contention is I'm not, I'm not opposed to the review as long as you get it right. And they did. Well, it's not who's right, it's what's right. And it might be the half-inch line instead of the one-yard line, but let's see where they mark the football. And why not put Jerome Jackson back in there, the senior, to see if he can get another touchdown. You're right. Jackson is back in there. We'll see if they go back to him. They do. Going over left tackle. Trying to cut the corner to the end zone. Touchdown. We'll give the band another opportunity to play the fight zone. Some more high fives. You got everyone gathering in the end zone, but... Nice opening drive. They had one pass in the drive. Everything else was all runs, and that's pretty indicative of the power of football that Michigan brings here this afternoon. Now, it didn't take long, less than five minutes. So it's first down and 10 at the 47. Davis again comes underneath, has a receiver. It's going to be a pickup of about two yards on the play. But their inexperienced left tackles are pretty young in the lineup. And a pitch it back. This is Larry Bostic, nowhere to run. Trying to cut the corner on the near side, and he was hit hard by Rondell Biggs. Nate Davis, the true freshman out of Bel Air, Ohio, drops back and throws over the middle into double coverage, and it's batted down. 
Well, that's the one thing that they said about Davis. He's very talented, but he tries to get it sometimes into too tight a space. And Chris Miller, a very good punter in his own right, standing at his 40-yard line. He's going to kick this one away. And Steve Breston is back to return. He's going to let it drop at the 12, and it's going to take a roll. A good one for Ball State. And Michigan's looking at a long field when we come back. And I ask you to sing your school's fight song, but I'm afraid there'd be 100,000 people climbing up into the press box to kill you. I love the Michigan fight song. It's one of the best in the country. <laughs> of course, Mike Tomczak in enemy territory today. Ball cuts loose, and it's knocked through the end zone. It's a safety. And Ball State's defense, which has been much maligned this season, comes up big. Well, Court Booker stripped the ball away from Mike Hart. Mike Hart has been known to carry the football without losing it. Tremendous turnaround for the Cardinals, but Court Booker, number 44 from the backside, strips the ball from Mike Hart. That ball wasn't tight, but Court Booker found a way to get it out of there. 600 plus carries from Mike Hart without fumbling the football. One time you talk about it, next time it's for real. This has got to give this young Ball State team a little confidence, but there goes Davis down to the ground. He is sacked. Prescott Burgess with the hit. Let's go down to Quinn Kessner. At their own 38 yard line from the shotgun. Handoff. And a good run back to the original line of scrimmage and then some close to midfield for B.J. Hill. And Wolverines bring three men on 37, throws it out to the far sideline and out of play. So Ball State will punt. Henny has thrown 15 touchdowns this season, nine of those to Manningham. Here's Henny. Kicked off at the 30, the 20. This is going to be a touchdown for Ball State. Eric Keyes and the Cardinals are on top. Holy cow. And wow, wow, on top of Holy Cow. Nice job by Eric Keyes. Poor job by Chad Henney. He didn't really look to coverage. He should have thrown that ball away. And I'm sure Lloyd Carr wants an explanation. Interceptions hurt you, but interceptions for a touchdown really kill an offense. Never saw Eric Keyes come out of secondary position. He played a strong safety position. He just read the quarterback sides the whole way. That's a ball that never should have been thrown in that area. Well, the Wolverines came into the game tied for first in the nation with just eight turnovers. Already coughed it up a couple of times today. Good play there on first down. They hit Preston, makes the catch. He now has 39 receptions on the year. That leads the team. Preston and Arrington lined up to the right. Go back to Mike Hart. Big hole! Midfield to the 40. One man to beat. And driven out at the 20-yard line. Eddie Burke, the free safety, caught up with him. But a huge run for Mike Hart. The Michigan Wolverines ranked number two in the country. Got all they could handle and then some from the Ball State Cardinals in the first quarter. Nine points off turnovers. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Hart in the backfield. On second down and eight, the Wolverines in the red zone and bangs his way inside the 15-yard line down at the 14. Hart may end up riding that horse a little bit more than they uh, planned on because this is a football game. Yeah, I said they were number one in the country. They're number four in the country, but you can't turn the football over if you want to be a championship team. After the pickup of the first down, they go to their tight end, Carson Butler. He's tripped up and down at the six-yard line. Keys got to him. This is already the fifth time Ball State's defense has forced Michigan into a third down situation. Here's a touchdown. What a bullet. Henny to Butler. And the redshirt freshman puts Michigan back on top. Well, that seemed like a seven-on-seven -seven practice drill. What happens in practice, they put seven defensive players against seven offensive players without the offensive defensive lines. Nobody, they hit the tight end there, but they lose them in coverage. Number 42, Brad Cease has to stay with them. You contact him, and the tight end comes open a lot quicker than other receivers, especially when you get down towards the end zone. Mario Manningham back on the field for Michigan. He's lined up wide right. On second down and seven. Steps up at the 40, now he's going to run across midfield to the 45 and driven down hard at the 44-yard line. 
Wow, packing a punch here at Keys. Let's go down to Quint Kessner. <laughs> Well, his prediction a little bit off. It's already 14-9 and maybe more now. Here is Brandon Miner with his first carry of the day, and he's inside the 10-yard line, driven out by Eddie Burke. Miner, the team's third leading rusher, almost had his second touchdown of the season. Well, this play was set up by formation. They put two receivers to the field, and they had no secondary support to the left-hand side. Did a nice job on that two tight end formation of Butler and Long on the left side, but Miner, talk about explosion. Banged up at times this year, but not as bad as last year. Getting Manningham back today, very important. Here's Henning, looking to the end zone. Now brings it down, now throws to the back of the end zone. Has a man in and out of the hands of Preston. Steve Preston almost caught his first touchdown pass of the season. He's been a little inconsistent catching the football at times. Well, Carson Butler, I think, was the intended receiver there. Preston just, you look at Henning, he's throwing right for Butler. And Breston slides by, trying to take it away from him. But he definitely wants a touchdown reception there. It's one of those calls, I got it, you take it, type of things. There's Henny. You could tell he wanted Butler for the second time today. And now it looks like the Wolverines going to have to settle for three. Garrett Rivas is on. He's 13 for 16 this season. This is going to be a 22-yard chip shot for Rivas. Right between the eyes. 17-9 now as Michigan tacks on three more. 9.03 to go here at the Big House. We're in the first half. Michigan at Ball State. He's a coach that determines a lot from these guys and expects a lot. And when you're at Michigan, you expect to do things greatly. Sean Blitz, and here they come. Down he goes. Nate Davis hit by Harris. Harris, a fifth-year senior. You know he wants to have a good game today to go out in style. Out of the shotgun, Davis underneath, met immediately. Chris Graham, big hit. The 5'11", 220-pound junior out of Indianapolis. Mario Manningham back out on the field, lined up in the near slot. Preston goes in motion. Play action, Henny rolling out from the 40-yard line, gets it off underneath. And Preston still on his feet to the 40, and it's a first down for Steve Preston. They call those yak yards, yards after the catch, and then yak again after contact. Preston doing a nice job on both. First down and 10 at the 40-yard line at Ball State. Here's Brandon Miner, and he's off to the races. Dives to the end zone, did he get in? No signal from the official, it's a 40-yard run. He got in. A 40-yard touchdown run from Miner. Explosive plays in the passing game, explosive plays in the running game. Ball State has no secondary support, but they do have it. He's getting blocked. He's not getting off his block, but a nice effort by Brandon Miner getting the Wolverines back on the board. From the 48-yard line, there's Dante Love. And he's got enough for a first down. Davis out of the gun. Play action. Quick release. Has it up for the first down. Michael Steinhaus, the tight end. Second year starter at tight end for the Cardinals. A reverse. Here goes Dante Love. Stiff arm inside the 25. Out at the 22-yard line. Morgan Trent escorted him out of bounds. But... Second down and four. Davis feeling the heat. Down he goes. Ball comes loose. Still loose. And it looks like Ball State is recovered at the 34-yard line. It's a third sack by Michigan today. Underneath. And out of bounds. And now it's going to be a long field goal attempt, or they're going to go for on fourth down here. Ryan Jackson from 46 yards out. He's got the distance. And it's good. Brian Jackson. Now 12 of 13 on field goal attempts this year. A lot of grambling that came up, and actually he was out of Liberty. And he was 6'5", 280, but he ran a 4'740". But wow. Those guys have big bodies. It's tough for those defenders to get through that and deflect the pass. Speaking of the tight end, there's Carson Butler. 
Michigan has done a great job on third down today. They're five of seven. They came into the game 38 percent. And this is going to be a first down. Steve Breston tackled by Eric Keyes, but Breston picks it up. He's lined up at the top of your screen, and he's looking his way. Now looks left. Now releases, goes underneath to Breston. Wow, an acrobatic move there as he's flipped up out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Breston is having a nice day. Mike Hart cuts back at the 45-yard line. Is pulled down at the 41. He is going to be close to the first down, but it looks like a little bit short. Hart's going to get another look here. Shakes loose at the 30 and driven down inside the 20-yard line. Lloyd Carr told us today, Mike, that there is nothing that Mike Hart is not doing well. Yeah, he certainly said that to us. And also, Mike DeBoer, the offensive coordinator, look how they secure the end man in the line of scrimmage with the fullback. Olivo does a nice job. He gets, doesn't get enough credit, but he's the reason why, number 40, Olivo, that Mike Hart has had as many yards as he's had today and throughout the season. A gain of 23 for Hart. He's going to get it again. Puts his head down and pulls his way to the 10-yard line. Driven out by Eddie Burke. Let's check in. Hey, he's a type of coach that if he could play, that looked like a hyperextension there. Look at Mike Hart carrying the pile. Touchdown, Michigan. Or at least the Wolverines think so. He might be marked down at the one. What a move and what effort by Mike Hart. No, he just has tremendous patience as a runner. And then when he gets his pad level down below the defender, he becomes a bull. I mean, he just takes off and accelerates through the defensive back. Extra yards. Whatever he can get. I thought that, that looked very close. I thought that might have been a touchdown. It's first down and goal at the one. I'm gonna go back to him. He's hit. Lunges forward. And this time he's in. Mike Hart. His 10th touchdown of the season. And Michigan has opened this one up now to a 30-12 game. They did most of that on the feet of Mike Hart. This is academic. I thought he got into play before, but he runs into Mr. Riley, the right tackle. And all that ball has to do is cross that goal line. And Mike Hart realizes that. Does a nice job in this last drive. Thank you very much, Quint. Set it down. I know that's uh, straining your arm. Big foot in the big house. Big pass and a big catch. And a Ball State touchdown. Dante Love from 61 yards out. Nate Davis and Ball State I continue to stay in this football game. I'm sorry, Clay, but I'd go for two here. I'd go for two here. Keep the pressure on. Make Michigan think about what they're going to do. It comes down to one-on-one -on -one matchups. Nice job by Dante Love. Tremendous throw. But the defensive back never thought Dante Love would have the speed to get by him. You take a half a second off on your coverage. They got two quarterbacks that have done a tremendous job this year getting the ball in the end zone. I think Michigan's a little concerned right now with 420 to go here in the third quarter. Until Breston gets it. Preston, a big return out over the 40 and spun down at the 42. Good field position again here for the Michigan Wolverines. This is and he under center, turns, handoff. Brandon Miner gets around the corner on the left side and slides down at the 50-yard line. Chad Henney looking to throw. Has a man wide open, it's Preston. And he's going to be close to another first down. Trey Lewis tackled him out of bounds. Michigan now 121 yards passing. It's been a decent day for Henny. Take away that interception. Here is Miner again. Good pickup on first down. And the thing about Henny, underrated in my opinion. Here's Miner again. Close to another first down. He may have picked it up. Trey Bice knocked him down. Henny on play action rolling to his right. Comes underneath. Finds Obi Alibo. The big fullback ends it up for a first down. Olibo, no carries this season, but now has his second catch of the year. And it took two guys to bring him down. Olibo, six foot, 230 pounds. Ball at the 13-yard line. 
Here's Miner one more time. He's putting together a nice day. He's close to the five-yard line. And that's going to do it for the quarter. 23-yard field goal attempt for Rivas. He's already hit one here today. On his way to becoming the all-time leading scorer at Michigan. Thirty-four, nineteen now, and that actually does put Rivas into the record books. All-time leading scorer now at Michigan with 339 points. Congratulations to that young man. Let's go to the studio now and Mike Gleason. ESPNU College Football is presented by Allstate. Are you in good hands? Now the Michigan band at halftime was in good hands. Patrick Stewart from Star Trek fame. Star Trek, the next generation. There he is, leading the band at halftime. He's in town. The Royal Shakespeare Company is here, and he's part of the group. Mm. And there's Bo Schembechler. My man. Look it on. I have a son named Bo. Named after Schembechler. Mm. Kind of doubt that since you're a Buckeye. Deep downfield, another big play for Davis. Inside the five-yard line, Terry Moss. And why wow, you can see why they are so high on this true freshman quarterback. Let's see if he can finish off this drive here on second down. On second and goal, they're going to pitch back for Boston. Making his way toward the end zone. Touchdown, Ball State. Bostic with his first rushing touchdown this season. And we told you at the top of the broadcast, this Cardinal running game has not been very potent this year, but they get a huge touchdown to stay in this football game late in the contest. All you need is a couple yards to get close to the goal line. To get close to the goal line, you don't need but two yards, and Bostic did his part. Former Michigan Wolverine, he spent eight years under Lloyd Carr, and he was hoping coming into this game that his old buddy wouldn't run up the score on him. Well, boy, he's given his old boss a game. Davis out of the gun. That's enough for the first down. And more. Down to the 35-yard line. Pickup of 22. Now they're going to go back to the run game, and they've got room. Larry Bostic with a nice pickup on first down. In the last 30 minutes of this game, they go back to Bostic. First down and more. Room to run to the 10 inside the 10 to the seven-yard line. Bostic with his ninth run of the day and maybe the biggest. It's amazing how momentum shifts so quickly in college football. You get the offensive line pulling out, making guys not be able to tackle the running back, but nice job by the running back Bostic keeping his eyes down the field. And this is pressure football right now. Momentum has shifted greatly to Ball State's offensive side of the ball. Goal to go from the eight. Back to Bostic and this time no one go. Holy cow, David Harris quick to the ball carrier. One of the better linebackers in the Big Ten, let alone the country. Ball at the 12. Here's Davis. And that's going to be incomplete. Threw it underneath. He was looking for Dante Love. Two for 10 on third down. Boy, did they need a third down conversion here. Horse going for the end zone. Davis, pressure, down. Penalty flags come in. Branch was there, and so was Tim Jamison. Well, this would be a big call if it's against Michigan. They had him sacked. No one opened down the field. Whether it's a personal foul or five yard, we'll see. Personal foul. Face mask. Number 90 on the defense. That penalty is enforced half the distance to the goal with an automatic first down. Well, Jamison Ball State has four more cracks from the six-yard line. Look at the throw. Love to the end zone. Nobody home. The closest man there was the left cornerback, Leon Hall. I've been looking for that tight end. I've been talking about it for three plays now. Let's see if they're listening next door. On second down and goal. They go back to Boston. Stiff arm dives toward the pylon, and it looks like he's out of bounds at about the one. Clock down to five. Davis looking toward the end zone, rolling to his right. Now being chased, gets rid of it to the back of the end zone, looking for him, incomplete. 
Jamar Adams, the strong safety there in coverage. It'll bring up fourth down. That was a two-receiver route. A little flash into the right side. They're looking for number 88, Hill. On the right side, you cannot throw it back across your body because you're towards the sideline. I mean, you had one receiver in that side of the field, and Michigan did a good job converging on the receiver, but you needed a better, you needed more receivers in that general area to help the quarterback out. This Michigan defense, ranked number four in the country coming into this week. They need a big stop here. Davis will step back in the gun. His center couldn't hear him snapping the football. No, the noise has become a factor, especially when you get down by the student section. You can't hear yourself think sometimes. They did do noise preparation this week, but it didn't help in that instance. Davis to the end zone, incomplete. Morgan Trent, good coverage, and Michigan takes over on downs. Boy, did they dodge a bullet. I didn't like that call there by Ball State. You got one receiver, you're relying on it. Dante Love is 5 feet 10 inches tall, and you're going against the defensive back that's pretty good in his own right, number 14, Kent. I would like to have seen that we have more players in the general area, or at least give you more options instead of one receiver. And Ron English is pretty happy for that stop there. Davis gets it away. Nobody home in the end zone. Intercepted, and that's the ball game. The only one down there, Ryan Mundy. And Michigan, said it before, dodges a bullet today here at home. They certainly did. They, they were stood the test of time. I mean, football is a game of emotions, momentum shifts, ebb and flows throughout the game. And they had a little law, I think, mentally, when they got ahead 31-12. to 12, And this will be addressed very quickly by the head coach, I'm sure. Well, Lloyd Carr with a smile on his face as he greeted his friend at midfield, Brady Hope. But inside, he's not smiling. Well, it's a victory. It's a victory first and foremost, he'll tell his team. And we need to get better. And I'm going to tell you where the areas we need to get better on. And it starts up here with your mind.